So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, just given the length of it. So let's read it and see if there's anything to translate here. Jim has identical drinking glasses, each in the shape of a right circular cylinder with internal diameter of three inches. So I'm going to draw that. The radius, it tells me, or I'm sorry, the diameter is three. Okay, so he pours, and we, he has identical, yeah, so we don't know how many he has. So this is his drinking glass. He pours milk from a gallon jug into each glass until it's full. Okay, so let's just say this glass is full with milk. If the height of milk in each glass is about six inches, so this height now is six inches, what is the largest number of full milk glasses that he can pour from one gallon of milk. Okay, so this is important. So one gallon, based upon the note, is equal to 231 cubic inches, which I'll just write as inches cubed. This glass here, uh, the volume, and again, this is in the test. The test provides this information to you. I don't know why I crossed it out. The volume for a cylinder is pi r squared h. So we're gonna have pi r is half the diameter. We know the diameter is three, so that r must be 1.5. So it'll be 1.5 squared. And then h we were just given is six. So we go to our calculator and we figure out, well, what is pi, so let's do the squared first. What is 1.5 squared? So I get 2.25, let's multiply that by 6, which I get 13.5, and let's multiply that by pi, which I get 42.4. So each one of these glasses is 42 point, let's call it 4 um, cubic inches, right? So our units are all the same. So 1 gallon is 231, so all I'm going to do is divide 231 divided by 42.4, because basically that's dividing one gallon into a, a glass, right? So the volume of the glass is 42.4. The volume of the gallon is 231. So let's just do that and see what we get. So I get 231 divided by 42.4, and I am getting 5.45 basically. And let's see, just make sure I understand the question. If the height of milk in each glass is about six inches, what is the largest number of full milk glasses? So I'd have a little left over, but I can get a total of five glasses filled. So my answer must be choice C.